The President has directed us to take action to fight these cartels, and Attorney General Holder and I are taking several new and aggressive steps as part of the Administration's comprehensive plan. Those steps include the following. DOJ's Drug Enforcement Administration, which already has the largest U.S. drug enforcement presence in Mexico, with 11 offices in that country, is placing 16 new DEA positions in southwest border field, uh, field operations, specifically to target Mexican trafficking uh, and associated violence. The DEA is also deploying four new mobile enforcement teams uh, to specifically target me Mexican methamphetamine trafficking, uh, both along the border and in U.S. cities impacted by the cartels. DOJ's Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives is increasing its efforts by adding 37 new employees in three new offices using $10 million in Recovery Act funds and redeploying 100 personnel to the southwest border in the next 45 days to fortify its Project Gunrunner, which is aimed at disrupting arms trafficking between the United States and Mexico. ATF is doubling its, pr its presence in Mexico uh, itself um, uh, from five to nine personnel working with the Mexicans specifically to facilitate gun tracing uh, activity which targets uh, the illegal weapons uh, and their sources in the United States.